after years of conditioning, we learn to filter out what's important, what's not important, what to notice, what to process. There, let's say that there's an older couple. They're laying on the beach together. Um, you're watching them, and you notice that the, his wife, who he's been with for 35 years, is talking up a storm, and he doesn't hear a word that she says. A naked woman happens to pass by, and he notices. We learn that at a red light you stop, at a green light you go. We've learned to believe what we read. Most people believe what they read. doesn't matter what it is. Candid Camera years ago put a big banner across hi Highway I-95, which went through Delaware, and it read, Delaware is closed. Actually stopped their cars and turned around. Truck drivers were asking the police, when, are, when is Delaware going to open back up? We've got family in there. I knew the scrawny pale guy in college who believed that all women were in love with him and even wore a t-shirt that said chicks dig skinny pale guys. He would only filter information that supported how he viewed himself in the world. A frog doesn't see its mother's face or see a sunset. It sees what it has to to survive. Tasty bugs and big birds that can kill it. We like to think we perceive everything, but like other animals, we only see what we need to survive and keep our world as we like it, right? We can't p hear high-pitched sounds, but dogs can. Bees can see ultraviolet rays on flowers so they can eat. Owls can see in the dark. After a lifetime of conditioning, there couldn't be any other way in the world, right? Just think about French people versus Americans in terms of how we see time. Americans generally see time as money. Have you ever heard that, that, uh, that terminology? We see the world in terms of dollars. Uh, so an American will say they spend time. How many of you said, I spent time with my family this weekend? The French don't understand that. They don't even know how to translate it. For them, they pass the time. For them, time isn't money. They take, they have to take an hour off every day for lunch. So you see everything closed down in France so people can take their lunch break. For Americans, that's just not the case because that hour is, that hour is money. That hour can't be uh, wasted, as in terms of dollars, wasted passing the time. I'm sure you've seen lots of work by Picasso, and here's a story about him. A man walks up to Picasso in a train and asks him, why don't you paint people like they really are? Picasso asks what he meant by that statement. The man then opened his wallet and he pulled out a picture and showed Picasso. That's my wife. Picasso responded, isn't she rather flat and small? Here's another story about how people have very different perspectives on how they see the world. The Mian people of Ethiopia would have an even stranger reaction to a photograph. An experiment done years ago was presenting the Mian people with a photo, but they were unable to read the two-dimensional image. They felt the paper, they sniffed it, they crumpled it, they listened to the sound the crumbling paper made, and finally they ate a piece of the photograph, but they couldn't figure it out. People in our society would easily equate the photograph with the object that was photographed. But in Ethiopia, this didn't make any sense to them. It wasn't a part of how they saw the world. It was just a flat, dimensional piece of paper. Changing behavior. We've all heard the old saying, you can't change anyone but yourself. And we're going to talk about that, how we can change ourselves if there are certain behaviors we'd like to alter. Most of us are trapped inside of this bowl, just like the skateboarder is. This bowl is our comfort zone, how we behave and respond to the world that makes us comfortable. A person that's uncomfortable and nervous around others, she's going to avoid parties and social functions at all costs. She may do this even if she wants to meet new people and go out more and have fun, but Unfortunately, if her routine is to go home straight after work, have a bowl of cereal, watch TV, and not answer her phone or door, it's going to be difficult for her to do anything else. To go to a party would be wracking and is way too far out of her comfort zone. 
Most of us have behaviors we'd like to change, but just like the skateboarder, it takes a lot of momentum to break out of that bowl, to break out of our comfort zone and behave differently. But all behavior and all habits can be changed. Some of you may be able to remember when um, it wasn't mandatory to wear a seatbelt. And in fact, probably most of us didn't. And when it became a law, do you remember trying to get used to uh, putting that seatbelt on every day and at first it was a little uncomfortable, it kind of rubbed against your neck. And how many of you now, as soon as you get into your car or your truck, you just automatically put your seatbelt on, right? It became a new habit and something actually you don't mind doing and something you think is pretty positive. And how many of you, when you don't wear a seatbelt, it's actually quite uncomfortable? It's because you've changed your behavior, you've created new habits. Um, and all behaviors, all habits can be altered. It just it takes time and determination or maybe uh, some change loss. <laughs>